guys welcome back to my channel I'm Jenna and today we are going to be starting a journey when I say that it's because this started out as a one video idea and that was to try perfumes from a celebrity perfume line that I had never tried before I had already done this once before with Beyonce's perfume line and I thought oh let me continue that with another celebrity that I've never tried any fragrances from and I settled on Kim Kardashian. All right, now if I haven't already lost you, the only reason I settled on Kim Kardashian is because she has such an extensive perfume line and I've never tried anything from it. And technically she has two perfume lines. She has the Kim Kardashian perfume line that she created 12 years ago now at this point through a parent company and she has her own perfume line and that is her own business now called KKW Fragrances. And over the last couple of years, KKW Fragrances have gotten more popular. She's done a bunch of different lines. They've been interesting to say the least, at least in presentation. She's done some very interesting presentations of her perfumes, the bottles, etc. So I was always kind of curious what they smelled like. So when I started diving into this video, I started, you know, looking up all the different perfumes, getting excited about finding deals, and then I bought, you know, one perfume here, one perfume there, a lot with this perfume, and then I was like, oh, I have one of this from this line, I need to get the rest from that line, and I ended up with way too many perfumes, like too many, to the point where there's going to be probably four videos, because trying to do it in one or two would be too long and I'm just gonna try to cut it up into some shorter videos that will be a little easier for you to digest. Let's get started on this journey, shall we? We're gonna be here for a while. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Kardashians. I don't have the hatred for them that some people do, but I'm not their biggest fan. I'll be honest though, back when, you know, Keeping Up With The Kardashians first came out, I was into it. I did watch for several years. I was really wrapped up in the drama and the dynamic and it was interesting and back then, you know, reality TV was a newer thing so I really got into it. But it was on for so long and it became less of a commodity and more kind of an old story and like a little too materialistic and too much drama and just a little too performative for me. But, you know, there's also been some cool things that have come out of it. They've created a lot of different businesses, and some of them are kind of cool. You know, some of them have done really well. Like I said, Kim Kardashian has had two different perfume lines, but today's video, we're going to be focusing on the KKW fragrances. And within the KKW fragrance line, there are several different collections that she has. In this video, we're going to be focusing on a mishmash of different fragrances from the different collections. So there'll be like one fragrance from one collection, one fragrance from another collection. This is not going to be in a, an entire collection review. Now, KKW was founded in 2017, which means it's only a four-year-old brand, but it's made quite a splash. In that four years, she's already had seven different collections within her brand. And that's why I'm only doing one fragrance from a couple different lines because there's just way too much to go over. Her collections within her line include the Jeff Lethem collection. She has a perfume with her mom, Kris Jenner. She has a collection with her sister, Kendall. She has a collection with her sister, Kylie. She also has a collection called the Diamond Collection that is a collection based on the three Kardashian sisters, Chloe, Courtney, and Kim. She has the Sweethearts line. She also has the Crystals line, and she has the Body line. And there was also one other line that I believe is either discontinued or was limited edition. It's unclear whether or whether it will come back or not, and that was the um, Kimoji line, which I think included three perfumes. Um, one was like Vibes, one was a Cherry, and one was a Peach. Um, I didn't get anything from that collection because you can only get it from third-party sellers and all the prices are <coughs> racked up. I already have way too much to go through, so I don't need anything else. Now, the first collection that came out in KKW was their Crystal Collection, and they started with three perfumes. That was um, Crystal Gardenia, Crystal Oud, and Crystal Citrus. 
Now this line has since expanded to, I believe, eight different perfumes. And these perfumes generally come in one ounce bottles and they're $35 a piece. There's also bundle sets where you can get bundles of three fragrances for $90. So you're getting $5 off per perfume basically. But there's like limited options with the bundles, there's only certain fragrances that come paired together. So it would all depend on whether or not you're interested in all three of those fragrances within the bundle, whether or not the price would be worthwhile to you. Now today I'm gonna be trying one of those fragrances from the Crystal line and I will be trying Crystal Gardenia, which like I said, a one ounce bottle is $35. Crystal Gardenia is the only one that has a larger bottle, I believe, and it, you can get a 2.5 ounce and that is $60. Crystal Gardenia also comes in their travel size purse trio, which is where I got my Crystal Gardenia. So it's a 10 ml travel spray. And like I said, this was one of the original fragrances she put out. I think this is her most popular crystal scent as well. I haven't smelled any of these perfumes. I'm going in blind. The only hints I have is that in preparing for this video, I did write down the notes of each fragrance. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. It's floral but there's something, there's a fruitiness to it. And this is gonna sound really strange, but when I first sprayed it, I got like a blast of mint. Like it almost smelled like um, a candy cane for a second. It's mostly gone now, but it was just like a blast of like cool. It was like a cold scent. You know, when I've heard people talk about cold scents or cool scents, I think this is the first time I smelled something that I kind of got that vibe from. And you know what? It's still lingering a little bit underneath. There's that little like minty spice underneath it. But it's kind of pretty. You know, the fruitiness is mild. The floral is present, but it's not a headachey floral. You know how I feel about those. I'd have to wear this on the skin to know how I felt about it, but I'm surprised that I like this more than I thought. Because this was a gardenia scent, a specifically floral scent, I was expecting for this to be one of the fragrances that I really didn't like. But so far, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. And the top notes in this fragrance are pink grapefruit, anjou pear, and water lily. The middle notes are gardenia, of course, tiare flower, and tuberose. And the base notes are sandalwood, solar amber, and skin musk. I think I might rate that an eight. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm saving my final thoughts for when I finally get to try it. But it did surprise me. Um, and in case you're curious, the other scents that they have in the crystal collection is peach, rose, vanilla, violet musk, pear and peony, which is one scent, pear and peony, citrus, and oud. Okay, so my next perfume is also from the Travel Spray Purse Trio, and that is the original body fragrance. So it's also in a 10 ml travel sprayer. And currently the original body fragrance is only available in the Purse Trio. I don't know if it's been discontinued in the full size or if it's just out of stock, but on the website, it e isn't even listed as sold out or anything because all, but there are a bunch of fragrances that are sold out and body is not listed as a full size uh, perfume anywhere on the website. She does have body two and three. So there are three perfumes in this collection and body two and three come in 3.4 ounces and they are $60. So I imagine the full size of the original body was the same when it was on sale but I couldn't find any information about whether it's permanently discontinued or what. I think the body perfumes were some of the bottles that really grabbed people's attention because it's supposed to be shaped like Kim Kardashian's bust and waist and hips. And there are pretty bottles. They kind of remind me of the Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, like classique bottles and label bottles, um, but more, they look kind of more like a sculpture of the human form while the Jean-Paul Gaultier bottles are more of like a dress form shape, 
if that makes sense. So I'm going to spray the original body and see what happens. Mmm. There's a little bit of a skinny skin musk in there, which is to be expected in a fragrance called Body. But it smells like shampoo. It uh, smells kind of like a fresh out of a shower kind of scent, but a little stronger, a little more perfumey as to be expected. It kind of, kind of reminds me of one of the fragrances I really love, and that is Gucci Bamboo. I get like a shampoo fresh out of the shower, clean, but like there's like a floral brightness underneath in that, and that this is very, very similar. I still think I like Gucci Bamboo better. It's a little less musky and a little bit more like shampooy and clean. This is a little more musky and a little more floral than Gucci Bamboo. But again, I'm surprised that I like this. I, I thought there might be a few that I like. You know, I didn't go in thinking they're all going to be trash. Because she's, you know, she's got good taste. And the KKW line definitely seems like um, a elevated, higher-end version of the perfumes that she used to release. Which seemed a little more, like, classic, cheapy, celebrity fragrancy. But... I wasn't expecting to like Gardenia because it was floral, and I wasn't expecting to like Body because I was expecting it to be overwhelmingly musky, and I don't like strong florals, and I don't like strong musks. And I'm not getting what I expected here, and I'm happy about it. I think I would give this an 8 as well. Again, I'd have to wear it and see how it wears throughout the day, how it wears on my skin, but if this wears like Gucci Bamboo, it's like one of my favorite work fragrances to wear too because it just makes me feel like fresh and not overwhelming and not you know trying too hard or something that would be bothersome at work so this could be a travel size version that I could bring with me to work you know on those days when I'm really getting sweaty and grimy and just need a little fresher because the Gucci bamboo bottle is is too big it's a big clunky bottle pretty gorgeous I love the bottle but not really travel friendly two for two this is a shocking upset here, but in the best way possible. I'm going to be doing her perfume with her mom, Kris Jenner. So this perfume is called KKWX Kris. And there's just one perfume in this collection. It's not, you know, a several collection perfume. And it's a one ounce bottle and it goes for $40. And the bottle looks like this. It's a very pretty bottle. It's a nude transparent glass bottle with this pretty little cameo on front of a mother and a daughter together. It's very sweet. This is a very like loving tribute to her mom. Just looking at the bottle, like I really like this bottle. I don't know that I'm really going to like this perfume, but, but, I've been surprised so far, so let me not judge. Just when I see a nude bottle like this, I think of creamy, cashmere-y scents, uh, ambery scents, um, musky scents. Uh, none of those are my jam. And let's give this a whirl. <laughs> that was a strong spray. Cheers. happening okay there's a creaminess so I was right there there's a fruitiness to it and creamy and fruity doesn't usually go together but like I said it's an understated creamy maybe it's more of like a woody cream rather than like a vanilla e or gourmandy cream maybe that's the difference there's something familiar about it too I don't know but I don't, I can't for the life of me think of anything I've ever smelled that smells like this. Or maybe it's just supposed to smell familiar, like a mom, you know, comforting. I don't like it quite as much as the first two, but I think I'd still give it a 7.5. But this one is definitely one that I have to wear before I could really make a judgment about how I feel about it. So the top notes are Aperol Spritz Accord, which is like a combination, it says of white wine and Campari, which are types of alcohols. Very fitting for Kris Jenner and 
I can vaguely smell that. I can vaguely smell that. Um, and it also has tagate or tagete. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a type of flower and freesia. And the middle notes are lily of the valley, jasmine, tuberose, and gardenia. So very floral heavy. And the base notes are cashmere woods, amber, and vetiver. So cashmere woods would be the creaminess. The amber adds to the warmth of it. The vetiver adds to the woodiness of it. We've got tons of flowers. And then the sweetness is, and the little bit of fruitiness is the Aperol Spritz Accord. Aperol Spritz is a, a type of cocktail, which I guess, like I said, is white wine and Campari. Um, I, th I forget what kind of fruit it is. I've had it before, but it's uh, Campari is like a little bit of like a fruited liqueur, I believe. So we've got one more perfume in this video in our little array of KKW fragrances. And it's going to be one of the perfumes from the Jeff Lethem line. Now Jeff Lethem is a celebrity florist that is also a good friend of Kim Kardashian. And they work together to create a line of perfumes based off some of her favorite floral notes. Each perfume is one ounce and they go for $40 a piece or you can get the bundle of all three for one ten. The two other fragrances in this line are Jasmine Air and Night Iris, but today we are going to be smelling Desert Rose. Now this is the box that the perfume comes in. It's very pretty, clean, basic, opens like this. You can see inside there's flowers on the inside of the box. And this is the perfume. And this is very heavy. It's, uh, I don't know if it's, it's, it feels like it's meant to look like a clay vase. I don't know if that's what they were going for, either like a clay vase or like a diffuser. The top. That could have been bad. Thank God I have carpeted floors. All right, sorry if the angle just changed a little bit because I just dropped that perfume on the floor and I had to move my lights to get to it and uh, the angle's probably different, so I'm sorry if that's throwing anybody off. But let's try this again without dropping it. So you take the top off like this. She collaborated with a florist on this one. It's called Desert Rose. I'm expecting a heavily rosed floral fragrance. I like rose, but I don't like uh, excessive rose. So let's see. I'm not even gonna make judgments. Let's just see what happens because I've been confused this whole video. It smelled peppery and like a little citrusy. That's why I looked so confused because this is called Desert Rose. The rose is coming through now. I'm getting a little bit more of a powderiness. Rose can be a little powdery. Pepper has to be in this fragrance. There has to be. I kind of like the combination of the rose with the pepper because the pepper, the pepper balances the powderiness and the extreme floralness that rose can have. So you're getting like a light touch of that like soft rose powder and then you're getting spice on top of it. All right, now I'm starting to get a little bit um, of an underlayer of like a creaminess. Um, I don't know if it's like the vetiver again or cashmere woods or something. It might be more of a woody creaminess again rather than a like a vanilla creaminess. 7.5, I think. What's happening? Do I like all of these? Let me not get dramatic. I'm not in love with any of these, but I was expecting based on some of the scent types, some of the names of these fragrances to dislike some of them for them to be a little bit more on the lower score again. So the fact that it's scoring pretty good and they're different smelling than I expected is what's blowing my mind. I don't want to be sitting here making you think that I love all these fragrances, but I think I could wear any of these fragrances or at least right now I'd be willing I'd be willing to try to wear any of these fragrances but none of these I'm looking at saying no I don't I wouldn't even try to wear that for the day smelling it in the bottle is enough for me top notes is Takibana flower which I looked it up it's a type of mandarin blossom and then pink peppercorn right on the top right on the top was pink peppercorn 
it just was like like a nostril full of pepper and cypress which again is a woody note so i was smelling some of those things in there the middle notes are jasmine and tuberose there's our floral and then the base notes are skin musk creamy bourbon and solar amber so some of that warmth is coming from the amber again there's some of that creaminess but it's cut with the bourbon that you know the alcohol layer of bourbon versus just being straight vanilla so i think that's why it's not an overwhelming creamy creamy it's just like an undercurrent of creamy oddly enough no rose to be found but tuberose is not a rose but uh yeah i kind of like that and i think i was most correct about the notes upon smelling it, this one. Maybe the most similar to what I would have expected, but still surprised me. So yeah, I think that was a success, guys. These were the four fragrances I thought I was gonna like the least, at least in the KKW line. If that's the case, the next couple of videos are gonna be bomb. Like, I am gonna be losing my mind. I'm not expecting that to actually happen, but we can all hope and dream. Um, if I had to pick one that was my favorite today, I think it was the body fragrance again because it smelled very similar to a fragrance I already love it's most leaning into fragrances I like to wear the other three did do lean into fragrances I don't particularly like to wear but they are more wearable versions of those types of fragrances so I'm excited to try them on wear them and see how I feel have you guys tried any of these scents how do you feel about them were you surprised by how they smelled once you got them or did they smell exactly like you expected? Am I the only one that had these varying preconceived notions about these perfumes? Let me know down below. Are, is there anything in the KKW line that you're dying to try that you haven't yet? Put in the comments. And if you liked this video, I hope you'll consider giving it a like um, and maybe subscribe. Especially if you wanna see the rest of these KKW videos. Um, I've got at least two more KKW videos coming, plus the Kim Kardashian line as well. So we're going to have a banner Kardashian couple of weeks. If you want to see them, subscribe or just come back sometime over the next two weeks. They'll be there. But either way, thank you for coming and I hope to see you again in the future. <laughs> Bye guys.